A great tip that I learned early on when I was first managing patients with glaucoma was just because the OCT is green does not mean the patient has a normal optic nerve. Here's a great example of this. So this guy didn't come back for like a year or two. And then all of a sudden when he showed back up, I had a, an old photo to compare it to. So you can see where that inferior rim used to be and you can see where it is now. And you see how the blood vessels have kind of lost that landmark to go over. So the blood vessel landmarks are always really helpful. I mean, not that you need it in this case, that notch is like pretty obvious. Here's his RNFL. So this RNFL looks pretty great. Does anyone think that he doesn't have glaucoma or not want to treat based on this RNFL? But it's green, right? Green means good. Green means no glaucoma. What if I showed you this? I'm focusing my, mainly on his left eye here because the right eye didn't change. So again, he was lost to follow up for a while. Here is his RNFL that we got at baseline in the left eye. And here it is at his visit today. So specifically looking at this inferior quadrant, it dropped about 20 points. So he used to have a really robust nerve fiber layer. Now it's still green, but it's down over 20 microns, which is still not good. Even the superior quadrant is coming down as well. So this can be really tricky, definitely looking like glaucoma in the left eye. So this is why it's super important that we're comparing because the definition of glaucoma is change over time and, you know, some sort of corresponding functional or structural loss, right? So he definitely has structural loss that we can see. And now that you've got two RNFLs to compare, it makes sense. But if he had been brand new to your office, you know, and you only had this one RNFL here, it might have been a little tougher to make the call. But you can tell by that appearance that it's definitely glaucoma. Here's this field, right? The right eye looks great. The left eye has superior nasal loss. And it's really close to fixation. Here's a 10-2. Look at how much blown up this defect is on the 10-2. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. This was just a sneak peek. For more awesome clinic content like this, please subscribe to KMK's new clinic Power Up course. This is the number one requested course by practicing optometrists. We have an extensive library, 37 hours, 100 videos to help you dominate any condition that ends up in your chair. Efficient and practical, this course is our best work yet. You can sign up by clicking on the link in the description. I'll see you on the next video.